One of the big winners of the COVID economy in 2020 has been Peloton Interactive. If you've owned the stock since the beginning of the year, you were up 220% as of Wednesday's close on September 2nd. So congratulations. Let's look at how you could have locked in some gains on Wednesday, a day the stock was up 8.83% after JP Morgan named it a top name. First thing we'll do here is we'll open up the portfolio on our iPhone app and we'll type in the symbol for Peloton, P-T-O-N. Then we'll type in a number of shares, let's say 1,000. And here we'll type in the largest decline you are willing to risk over the next several months or over the time frame of your hedge. And if you're up 220% year to date, let's say you were willing to risk a 30% decline. And the next step is to decide the time frame of the hedge. Here, I'll stick with our default time frame, which aims for the closest options expiration date to six months out. I tap find optimal hedge and I am presented with this optimal put option hedge. And the cost here is pretty steep. $26,100 or 28.66% of position value. Now, that cost is calculated conservatively using the ask price of the puts. In practice, you can often buy options at some price between the bid and the ask. So in real life, your cost would have been a little bit lower than this, but still, 28.66% is hugely expensive. Let's see if there's a way we can lower that cost if we're willing to cap our upside. So on the previous screen, I'll enter 30% as a cap and we'll keep everything else the same. And this time we're presented with an optimal collar to hedge Peloton. And here, the net cost of the collar is actually negative, negative $9,250 or negative 10.16% of position value. Again, that's calculated conservatively, assuming you bought the puts at the ask and you sold the calls at the bid. So in reality, your net cost would actually have been more negative. Your net credit would have been larger. You probably would have collected a net credit greater than $9,250. But to be conservative, let's assume you had a negative cost here of 10.16%. Recall that our upside here is capped at 30%. But if we take into account that negative 10.16% hedging cost, our maximum upside is actually 40.16% between now and April 16th, and our maximum downside risk is 30%. So best case scenario, we're up another 40.16%, and in the worst case scenario, we still get to keep most of our 2020 Peloton gains.